Hey guys, it's your girl Miss Tashi. What's up, kids? We miss you guys. We miss y'all. We love y'all. And it is December. December. Woo! I'm so excited to talk to our babies, Mr. Ramsey. Come on, especially after them, after the, after they were eating turkey. Right. Thanksgiving and. I bet they're jumping around because Christmas is coming. I know, that's right. If you're excited, raise your pinky. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see my pinky, Mr. Stop? Yeah, something a little wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what we're most excited about, guys? We're most excited about the promise that God gave us. Man, God promises is just amazing. Woo! I think this story that we're getting ready to read today is really going to show the kids how the promises of God is still alive and living within us. I know that's right, but who thinks they know what's the number one promise that he gave us, especially in this season? Let me see. Very special. Let's see who's writing it in the comments. Because, you know, we do go back and read those Yes, comments. we do. And lately, I've only seen one comment. Right. Where are our children? Where are you guys? <laughs> so, Mr. Ramsey, do you know the promise's name that he gave us? It's our savior, and what's his name? Christ. <laughs> oh, oh, You're talking about Jesus? I'm talking about Jesus. Our savior. Hello, Come because on. what is Christmas without Christ. Come on, man. Come on, put it together. It's the most wonderful gift that God ever gave us. Right, and at Christmas we celebrate him. That's what it's really about. Is this why we have this Christmas tree behind us? This is one of the most famous decorations mm -hmm. used during Christmas. It's the Christmas tree. Look at how cute Mr. Ramsey and I look. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait, Mr. Stock, you gotta do a selfie with it. We gotta oh. do what the kids do in class. Oh, okay, ready? you ready? One, two, three, go. Yeah! <laughs> Mr. Ramsey, you look like a candle. <clears throat> Anyways. Wow. <laughs> you look like an ornament. <laughs> Tomato. <laughs> but you know what? This tree doesn't look as good as it could possibly look. What do you mean by that? It, it looks a little dark, as if it's kind of sad. Maybe it needs some light, Miss Nastasha. Yeah, it needs let me, something. Let me Let's see, go let see. Let's see what I can do. Let's go see. Okay. Maybe some light will bring it to life. And he said, let, let there be light. light. Oh, I love it. Wow. I know that's right. That's a little better right there yes, now. I love it. I love it. So guys, let's get into this word, because I'm excited about it. Mm. God's presence. Mm. So, you know throughout history, things didn't always go as planned. They didn't always go as well as they should have gone with God's people. And you know why? There was a lot of darkness yeah. happening back in the day. But some of us can identify with it being a lot of darkness right now, yeah. going with uh, COVID and in this what season. This pandemic. Right. Hmm. But the blessing is God always provided some light in this dark world. And you know what, Mr. Ramsey? Some of the light that he put in this world is who we're talking to right now. Yeah. You guys are the light. Yes, Just you like are. Just like this tree right here, you see the light brings out the best of this tree. It sure does. And you guys bring out the best in us. We yes. love you. We love working with you. We love yes. spending time with you. You guys are some yes. of the lights that God was referring to when he brought light into this dark world. Mm. So, God loves you guys, and he always mm. provided light in dark places. Some people call you guys hope and the light is hope. Yes. The Bible is full of famous stories of God and his people throughout history. Yes. All right. So, Mr. Ramsey, let's do something. Let's, uh, let's bring up moments of light that God provided during dark times. Hmm. Let's see. And you know what else? What? Let's use some of these ornaments yeah. to represent promises that God gave and light moments in the darkness. Well, I know the first thing God did was he created, he did, God created creation. Yes, he did. So it's amazing how the creator created the, the world mm -hmm. and the earth, mm -hmm. this globe. So I'm guessing this one here. Oh. Wow. What do you, it represents creation. Everybody say creation. 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 
Wow. So let's put it up. Let's represent. Let's see. It represents. So that can be the creation ornament. That could be the creation. I love it. Let's hope it doesn't fall. There it goes. That looks yeah. nice. Okay. <laughs> but you know what, uh, Miss Mustachi? Yep. God was also with Moses. The one, everybody know, Moses was the one that parted the Yes, one, he did. The Red Sea. Yes, and you guys learned a lot about Moses and the Israelites before the pandemic happened. Mm. So you guys should know what's up when we say Moses and the Israelites. Right, Mr. Ramsey? Yes. Yes, because what did Moses do? Mm. Moses helped the Israelites escape from the Egyptians. Yes. Remember we was telling y'all about all that drama? Because Pharaoh would not let the people go. God's right. people go. They were crying out to God and God sent Moses to what? To set them free and they were able to walk through the Red Sea. Yes. So that's what this ornament represents, huh? This is going to be the Moses ornament. Mm. Everybody say, go Moses, go Moses, go Moses, go Moses, go Moses, Moses, go Moses, get get on the tree, go Moses, get 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 on the tree, go Moses. <laughs> okay, I was enjoying that party a little. Yes. I'm ready for Christmas. I am too. But no, Come on, Moses ornament. You know what's dope though? Tell like, me. This next ornament is so amazing because it represents Joshua in the Israel. Oh my goodness. Like, after they got done fighting that battle of uh, Jericho, Jericho come, on, come on, for the promised land, come on, this represents promise the land. value of God's promise. He's everything. This is one of the promises God said. Yes, he did. Come on, oh my goodness. So we Mr. Ramsey, which one? Which one is gonna be oh, the the see, uh, the Joshua ornament? Let's see. This one. Oh, hold it up so they can see. Wow. Because when Moses died, oh. Joshua became alive. Yes, he did. And God used Joshua Come on. to lead the Israelites, fight in Jericho, and walked into the what? Promised, Promised land. land. Wow. I love it. I'm loving this. But I'm you know this. who else God was with. Who? As a, oh, you know, you know. <laughs> Talk to me. David. Woo, wasn't David the one who fought Goliath? What? Huh, like throw him up. Bill, 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 God was with him. Wow. He sure was. Mm. So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see what, what can be the oh the David. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Mmm. I like that. I did too. I love that, yo. I think that's incredible. Yes, it's amazing. Guys, everybody say this is the David. This is the David. Ornament. Ornament. I love it, Mr. Ramsey. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. And as you guys can see, all these ornaments are representing how God promises never fail. Never. Never fail. I mean, it, this is God promise we're talking about. Mm -hmm. And you know what else I like? I love the fact that it says here that even in God's word, we find hope. What? And the amazing thing about finding hope is we're able to look through scripture. And right. I think the most important place that I love is in Psalms. Psalms, Come on. yes. If you look at it, sometimes when you're trying to learn how to fight the battle, right. Psalms have words that will help you get through. They do, which is why we have our what? It begins with the G word. We ask you guys all the time, we have a guide. Our guide. Bible is yes. our guide. Yes. It helps us get through dark days yes. and rough times. I know my face has been in the Bible, especially yes. yeah. in 2020 yeah. with everything that's been going on. Yep. So where where is it? Which mm. one? Which one? Let's see. I kind of like this one. Yeah. Because the Psalms ornament. Psalms have a lot of interesting verses in there. Seems dark. But at the end, there's light at the end of the right. verses. And it shows God promises. So let's hang that one up. Let's see. Hmm. Hopefully it doesn't fall. Nope, it's not. Good. Like you know who I really, 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 really? Who? Who God was definitely with? Who? Who helped, who, who he really was there with. Like, she went through. Hmm. Help me. Does it start with an E? Yes! <laughs> You better do it, Mr. Oh, Ramsey. Do it, Mr. Ramsey. How did I know? How did I know? Oh, 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 no. Her name was Esther. Esther. God gave Esther the courage to stand up for her people. Come on. Okay? Come on, Man. Esther. Oh. Man, that's what I love. I Esther. love the Esther ornament. Yeah. My goodness. Oh, my goodness. Isn't it amazing? Yeah. 
And that just represents that the way God stood with, the way God stood with Esther, he's standing with you. That's His right. promises are standing with you. Yes. When you're going into Christmas season, you got to be reminded that this tree doesn't just represent lights and ornaments, right. but they all have some valuable things to it, kids, that God promises never fail. That's right. And these are things that you need to do. Even with your tree, even if you've already put your ornaments up, take some down. Yeah. Find stories in the Bible that encourage you, books of the Bible or scripture that influence you, yeah. and rename these ornaments. Name your ornaments. Now, That's so awesome. Miss Nastasha, even, mm -hmm. even going through all this, like all these things we just named as far as the principles <clears throat> God used mm -hmm. for his promises mm -hmm. to prevail, to move forward. Mm -hmm. God, people were still going through a lot. They was going through a lot. So let me tell you, again, things didn't always go well for God's people mm -hmm. as you've seen throughout history, as Mr. Yeah. Ramsey said. The Israelites promised to love and obey God, yes. but then they turned their backs on him. Wow. And that's amazing because God always shows us his promises, but sometimes it's our crazy decisions we make that makes us turn away from God. And raise your hand if you've been guilty of it. Come on, bad attitude. Talking back. Being disobedient. Not telling the truth. Come on. Not being integral, having integrity, doing the right thing when right. mom and dad are watching, doing the right thing when the teacher isn't watching. Even during the pandemic, while they're doing virtual school, you not know, what you're acting home more often. Acting like you're in class, right. but actually you're playing a game. Come on. All of that, that's turning your back away from God. Yes. And we've all been guilty of it, but we that's all. why it's so important to ask for forgiveness. Yeah. And not only ask for forgiveness, but admit that you were wrong. And even picking up the guide that Miss Nastasha was talking about mm -hmm. to show how Joshua dealt with moments where he wanted to turn his back on God, where Moses felt the same oh, way, Esther felt the same way. All of these stories, all of these ornaments represent someone who was just like you. Right. But the good thing is, they understood the promises of God. And they did. And you know, the Israelites promised to love and obey him, and they followed false gods mm. like the nations around them did. Yeah. So they was going to other people picking up their bad habits yeah. and bringing it to them yeah. and following them yeah. when they already know the truth. Yeah. That's, they that's, knew. And that's a good point because sometimes you miss the promises of God because you're following another crowd. Right. You know, thank God that Joshua didn't follow the other crowd. Right. Thank God that Moses didn't follow the other crowd, that they actually had a relationship with God. Right. And because of that, they saw God promises. And then the Israelites, because they chose to go the wrong way mm. and follow other people who follow false gods, yeah. they began to be attacked Man. and bullied. And raise your hand if you know how that's feel, if that, that feels. But can you explain to me, Miss, Miss Nastasha, more about false gods? Because I think sometimes kids don't understand that your phone could be a false god. You worship that more than praying, <sighs> yeah. reading your Bible. I could explain you that, that's a, yes. that's a lot. So, you know, I even do it sometimes, and I have to say, hey, I pick my phone up with the really cool Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> I like okay. that. It says, Nick Knack. <laughs> Mr. Ramsey, did you just learn how to read? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I pick, I, sometimes I have to say, hey, girl, put this phone down. Yeah. Spend time with God. Spend time with your daughter. When people are talking to you, actually listen, yeah. because some people make their, uh, their video games their God. Oh my goodness. They make uh, their phones their God. Come on. They make Instagram their God. And they guess what? Just to make yourself feel better, because the first thing you do is run to your video games, that doesn't fix you emotionally. Right. That doesn't fix you spiritually. The Bible does, prayer does, spending time with God does. But right. if you run to that first, that becomes your God because you use that to solve your issues. Right, and another thing that people don't realize and that we all are still learning, sometimes people make food their God. Mm. Candy, Ooh. chips, snacks, running, putting all of that stuff before God. Yeah. It's just not good. Yeah. It's not good. But there were some, these were some of the issues that the Israelites had as far as right. creating their own, their creating other gods before the God that brought them out of 
the wilderness. Right. And you know, this that was a pretty dark time. Yeah. That was a pretty dark time. Mm. And we've all had dark times, but yeah. even though we had the dark times, God always still reminded us yeah. that he was with us and that he loves us, which is why he said his promise mm. is our savior, Jesus Christ. Mm. God sent leaders like judges yeah. to rescue the people. He, uh, His people, when they got themselves in trouble and cried out for him, he sent kings to rule yeah. over people, kings who loved him. Yeah. Not just regular kings that was about themselves, yeah. kings he lo who loved him. Yeah. And, um, you know, like David and Josiah, yeah. he sent those kings and he sent prophets like Elijah yeah. and Isaiah. And it's amazing mm -hmm. you say Isaiah because in Isaiah 9, what does it say? It says, oh, yeah. a child will be born to yeah. us a son will be given to us. He will rule over us and he will be called Wonderful Advisor and Mighty God. He will also be called Father who lives forever and Prince who brings peace. A child will be born to us. us. Isaiah 9 verse 6 and that's amazing. You know what? Let's give King David mm. an ornament. Yes. King Josiah mm. an ornament. Okay. And Elijah. So... We got and King, uh -huh. say the first one. King David. Here goes King David here. And King Josiah. Here go King Josiah here. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And let's put two up for the prophets that I love. Mm. Elijah. Elijah. The prophet Elijah. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, yes. Wait a minute. That is tacky lacky. That King. is awesome. Can he have a spot? Can he have a spot? Oh, I need help. <laughs> The prophet Elijah. And what, and about, what about the prophet Isaiah? Mm, this is like a prophet Isaiah, doesn't it? Like, uh, <clears throat> that's amazing. Isaiah. I love Isaiah. it. Isaiah, they put on the tree. Wow, we're building an amazing tree for Christmas here, Miss Nastashi. Don't you love it? Wow. I do. Oh my goodness. Yes. Hey. You know, unfortunately, people, uh, God's people still kept trying to go their own way. Yeah. So God allowed them to be captured by the other nations. Mm. Even when things got really dark, it was hard for them to see that he would turn it around. But he did turn it around. Yes. Which is amazing. Mm. Yes. I love it. I love it. I love it. But you know, the beautiful thing is he sent us a gift. He did. And this is why his promises never failed. Never. Because through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, He's, he was able to fulfill the right. promise. Right. I love it. So, guys, thank you for tuning in. Yes. We want to make sure that you get your memory verse yes. and your scripture for the month. Yes. So, let me know when you have your pencils and papers ready, or we'll allow you to take your phones out at this time or your tablet. Mm. Because we need you to type this. Come on. So, the bottom line of today is we can have hope because God keeps his promises. Mm. Mr. Ramsey said with me, we, we can, can have hope because God because keeps his God promises. keeps his promises. That's right. So, you ready for your memory verse? Let's go. Everybody say Luke. Luke. 2. 2. Verse 11. Verse 11. Today in the town of David. Today in the town of David. A savior has been born. A savior has been born. To you. To you. He is the Messiah. He is the Messiah. The Lord. The Lord. Luke. Luke. 2. 2. 11. 11. That's right. You can trust God no matter what. We love you guys. Mr. Ramsey, can you pray us out? We can. We can. Uh, dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for your promise. We thank you, God, that in this season, as, as we all begin to celebrate Christmas, that we will celebrate the good gift that you sent us, the great gift that you sent us, the promise, your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. I pray that every child who are, is, who's watching will be touched by your word and will be remembered that the promises are in your word, the promises are from you, and the promises have been instilled in them because Jesus continues to live. So I thank you, God, for all that you're doing. I pray, God, until we see the kids again, that you'll keep them safe yes, and that you'll give them peace, that you'll give them strength, and you'll give them joy, and that they won't lack anything yes, in this God. season. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. See you guys next